Today we will talk about the custom login system in the Django project but before let's see what Django looks like when we start our project from scratch. First of all we need to make sure that we have installed the Django with the pip install Django. After that we will be available with the command Django admin and we can use Django admin start project with the respective project name. So if you want to do that, let's open a command prompt and into your Python projects directory or whatever directory you like, let's create a Django admin and with the help of this tool, you can use it to start project with the project name. Um, let's say we call it um, a UT1 and uh, we after it finished creating a project you can navigate to the directory cdut1 and once you are inside this directory you can simply migrate and uh, you can migrate the existing migrations with the help of python manage.py there is a file manage.py you can pass an argument to migrate it will automatically handle a lot of things for you. So the managed.py uh, file would be handy for you. Here you can see we have a lot of tables uh, with the permissions, email, username, and there's a lot of authentication. So it comes with a built-in authentication feature which you can use with an admin dashboard built-in so you don't have to do anything at all uh, if you want to see that just run your Django project with the python manage.py and run server so um, you need to correct the spelling and uh, Python manage.py run server. It will run your server on 8000 port by default. And you can navigate to that. Um, let's open a new tab and localhost 8000. Here you will see a default page of uh, this is a Django. You can navigate to uh, Django documentation and uh, here is a tutorial for a polling app you can take and help with that and there's a Django community so if you want to take uh, the help of authentications you can navigate to the admin page here you will see our default login system but before using a login you need to create a super user so let's go back to this press ctrl c it will break the execution of your django app and you can simply say that python manage.py and create super user it will prompt you with what kind of username you want i will say admin and the email address i will say that admin at admin.com and you need to name a password if you um, say a very lame password it will prompt you the password is too common and uh, uh, do you want to bypass the password validation and create a user anyway uh, let's say we want yes and um, it will create a super user now you can use this information by running your server again and uh, you can simply run the server and once the server is uh, running you can come back here and you can admin and hello one two three it will lock you into the admin dashboard it is by default the admin dashboard you can see you have everything back end front end ready you can create a groups and you can add new groups you can uh, allow the permissions you want and you can go to the users and you can create a new user uh, for example let's say you press the add user button here you can see uh, the user one and the password hello one two three at 
hello123 at and it will save a new user for you. So the user is created. If you come back onto the home, you can see that here we have a user uh, which we just created. It's a user one and you can look that information here. The password is encrypted and you can pass additional information like the first name. It's a user and one and the email address user one at gmail.com or anything. And for the permissions, if it is a staff, you can create a check here. It's a staff member. And if it is a super user, you can check this one as well. Uh, we leave both as they are. And uh, we can also alter the information of last login and they joined. And we can save. So um, that's all about the existing user model. And uh, here you can see the staff status. It is not a staff member. So here we have all the information. We can search and a lot of things going on here. Uh, but if you want a custom logging system, uh, you may want to start uh, from a new um, application. So let's close this folder for a sake and uh, let's open up uh, our project in uh, a folder let's open the folder and uh, navigate to your documents or and python projects where you place your uh, folder and we are simply opening up this and select this folder and this will open up your port if you see here you we have a youtube uh, uh sorry ut1 uh, our project name and we have a, a simple this app in the url section we have an admin here available so let's reload it up for a sec and here you can see the admin uh, urls are available um Okay, let's ignore this for a second and focus on here. So Python admin slash admin sites URLs are available. Everything is built in and you can add more paths to here. So before and here you, we have a SQLite 3 um, DB where we have all our databases and uh, we have this manage.py file which we are using and here we have our settings.py uh, file which is very important in Django project and we uh, every uh, middleware goes here and every installed apps new apps we want here you can see the default apps admin auth and content type sessions messages and static files all these uh, apps are by default installed here so if we want to create a new authentication system, what we need to do is let's navigate to our command prompt and uh, let's create a new app. And for that, we can use obviously uh, the manage.py file and uh, create app, I guess. Uh, and for authentication and uh, Okay, so we have Python managed by start app and uh, authentication. Uh, this way it will create a new folder structure. Here you can see uh, we have authentication. Here we have uh, the admin.py, apps.py, models, task views. So one more file we want to create here is uh, uh, URL just like uh, this urls dot pi urls dot pi so uh, this will be specific to this authentication uh, url so we have a model here and uh, one more thing we may need is uh, form uh, dot pi file so this file would be handy in any new applications and um, if you go to the documentation of Django documentation, here you will find a lot of information. So uh, come back here. One more thing you need to do is create a templates folder. 
here you are going to place all of your uh, templates and uh, one more thing we are going to do is create a base.html template so this is a blind template and uh, once we, uh, we also need to add our new app in our installed apps and here we can name the authentication and we have added the installed apps here so uh, let's go back to our base.html and let's ask ChatGPT to create a base.html template uh, with bootstrap and uh, for um, you can add anything if you want and let's see for that what it goes across.